There are quite a few differences between internal and external data storage devices, or drives. The underlying technologies are roughly the same for both, but the distinction usually involves how the device is connected to the rest of the computer. Storage drives, internal or external, will typically be either flash-based or disk-based. In very simple terms, flash drives use transistors to assign binary data to memory cells, while disk drives store data on spinning mechanical plates. Flash devices are known as solid state drives, or SSDs, while the term hard disk drive, or HDD, really only applies to disk-based drives. In consumer terms, hard drives have a better price-to-size ratio, but are often heavier and slower. Their solid state counterparts tend to be much faster, but high capacity models can be more of an investment. External drives, whether hard drives or solid state drives, are typically connected by USB, though there are other connections too, like Intel's faster Thunderbolt technology. These connection types are typically too slow to run resource demanding games or programs directly from the drive, though external drives shine in other areas. Because they are physically isolated from the rest of a computer, external drives are insulated from anything that might go wrong with the system. This makes external drives ideal for backing up data, such as important documents, videos, and photos. Also, most external drives come in some kind of enclosure, many of which come with additional features. For example, many of Western Digital's external storage devices offer MyCloud functionality, which allows remote access to stored files. Other enclosures feature automated data backup software or enhanced security. On the other hand, internal storage devices are much faster because they can take advantage of the high bandwidth connections inside of a computer, like SATA or NVMe. This makes them ideally suited as the main boot drive for your computer's operating system, or for running your favorite games or business tools. Installing an internal drive, like the Kingston A400, is a little more hands-on than simply plugging in an external drive to an open port. To install an internal device, you'll have to open up your computer's case, and that'll probably require some tools. It'll also require some research, like double-checking that your computer's motherboard supports the type of internal drive you want to install. Internal storage most commonly comes in 2.5-inch or 3.5-inch drives, which use SATA connections. There are other types of SSDs as well, like M.2, which are even smaller. These M.2 solid-state disks, like the Samsung 960 EVO, can be NVMe or SATA and mount directly to the motherboard. The latest storage technology comes in the form of PCIe add-in cards. These are the fastest drives on the market and are installed into the same PCIe slots as a graphics card. Internal drives are worth the effort, but make sure you know what you're getting into. If you're just looking to back up some pictures or files, an external storage device should get the job done. You can't really go wrong with any modern storage device, just make sure you find the one that fits your specific needs.